So we've already seen our first price increase of the new Model 3. We've been introduced finally to a new color in North America and a huge spring software update. Let's go over all of that and more in today's video. A brand new color was just added to the Tesla website and there has been some changes to the interior and exterior pricing of the Model 3. So let's get into it. It was finally announced. The brand new, highly anticipated Quick Silver was just introduced to the United States. So this one's interesting because not only can you not order this Quick Silver color in the new Model 3 Highland refresh, it also does not come in any Model 3, including the new performance that was just announced. The new Quick Silver is only available for the two mid-range Model Ys the long range and the performance. So that base model rear wheel drive Model Y is not, at least at this time, getting the new Quicksilver. Do I anticipate this new Quicksilver being rolled out to other models like the Model 3? Yes. How much does it cost at this time? The brand new Quicksilver Model Y color is an upgrade for $2,000. The first Model 3 performance price increase just happened. If you are unaware, just recently Tesla announced the highly anticipated Model 3 performance with 510 horsepower and a 0 to 60 of 2.9 seconds. We've reported in other videos all of the exterior and interior changes. Well, the price just came out at $52,990, but then a price increase happened. The Model 3 performance just saw a $1,000 price increase, and this is really important because we were all wondering, is the Model 3 performance going to qualify for the $55,000 sedan cap for the EV tax credit? The starting price did qualify the Model 3 performance, and now a $1,000 price increase just happened, but it's still under $55,000, albeit even closer to that price cap. So will the price continue to go up over time? We're very near to that $55,000 price cap. If it goes above that, it will no longer qualify. So the first price increase just happened for the Model 3 performance and now changes to the white interior, a $500 decrease in price and a price decrease for the black paint finish as well. The overall price went up $1,000. The white interior and black paint exterior go down $500. But let's talk about this big spring update that you're now going to get. But before we do, good news if you are a Tesla owner or you're thinking about buying a used Tesla, now Auto Park is rolling out to Teslas that have a USS sensor with full self-drive version 12.3.6. So now previous Teslas can toggle between a standard parking function and a vision only parking function that only uses the Tesla cameras. This left many Tesla owners wondering which auto park feature is better, the one using your sensors or Tesla vision only. Big worldwide updates are coming with a spring update version 2014.14.3. A brand new spring update is here. Let's go over it. Some of these upgrades require you to have certain upgrades like a Ryzen processor chip, the latest Tesla app, or an iPhone, and then some of these updates are available worldwide while some are available only in the US. Let's go over it. Probably one of the biggest spring upgrades with this over-the-air update is the full control access on your screen. For Teslas that have a Ryzen processor, now you have a full screen vehicle control. Things like quick access are now added, favorites, recents, and up next in your media player. Now you have an easier way to access those tabs in a new full control screen. US Tesla owners are now going to get previews of their sentry mode footage sent directly to their phone. So if there is a sentry mode trigger, now you can see as long as you have ample room on the USB plugged into your Tesla, your Tesla app is updated and you have an iPhone 11 plus or newer. Now with premium connectivity, you can get a clip of that sentry mode footage sent directly to your phone. With premium connectivity, now you're going 
going to get clips sent to your phone. You must have an updated Tesla app and you also have to have memory available on the USB plugged into your Tesla. But at least for now, US Tesla owners can now see those clips sent directly to their phone. A worldwide update, now you can watch Audible on your Tesla to access your favorite audiobooks, podcasts, and more. Again, that rolled out to every single Tesla worldwide in this update. There's also expandable autopilot driving settings and visualizations. There's a smaller map on the top right for trip guidance. So now you can follow along with that navigation on autopilot. This one's really cool. Now there's a hands-free trunk option available if you are a Tesla owner. You must have an iPhone 11 plus or newer and currently a Tesla app with 4.31.0 or newer. Androids will be added to this feature later. All you have to do is stand behind your Tesla with the phone key open and visible, wait for the chime, and then your trunk will automatically open in this new software update. A worldwide update, now a trip progress bar will be shown on your screen that integrates live traffic visualizations. So if you're wondering, are we there yet? You can track your Tesla's trip on this new progress bar that again integrates traffic as well. Two more worldwide updates. Now, if there is a better route available, you will see this suggestion on your Tesla navigation screen. You can change how many minutes these trip suggestions will save you to see these suggestions even more or less frequently. Last but not least, a worldwide update. Now you can control the speed of your wipers with the left scroll wheel of your Tesla and your Tesla will integrate speed traps on your navigation and give you a chime if there is a speed trap approaching and give you a warning as well. A new color arrived for the Model Y. Price changes already for the Model 3 performance. A huge spring update and more. There's a lot of changes. Subscribe to stick around. The only way I know that you're out there watching is of course to drop a like. Again, this is Matt from Frunk to Trunk. We will see you in the next video.